Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community, Oceania Hundake with Reverend Yutaki Yamada. Today being Thursday, the 12th of August, or the 5th of July, in the ninth year of Chongo Book. Let's begin, as always, with a, a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents. So let's come back. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Hajon men se yu chon yukuk chuin uri kajogun cham sarangel chun shimago hanel kumonim gua cham pumonime te shin kajong russo tonul unjigin kajong iteo hanre chupogul chibone yongyol shikin kajongul one song hal kosru men se hanaida. Family pledge number six. Our family, the owner of Chongul Guk, pledges to become a family that moves heavenly fortune by embodying the heavenly parent and true parents and to perfect a family that conveys heaven's blessing to our community by centering on true love. To ask uh, Mark Burfield if you could offer the uh, opening prayer this morning. Please join me in prayer. Our dearest Heavenly Parent and beloved True Parents, we greet you this new morning. We Thank you that we can be gathered together as brothers and sisters throughout this Oceania region, coming together each morning to uh, connect with you and connect with each other in heart and to share in this time of uh, devotion, uh, sitting on our true mother's words and on the extraordinary lives and achievements and uh, foundation being, being laid by our true parents over many decades and still continuing as we advance towards establishing Channel Gook. We thank you that we can be living in this time with our true parents, with true mother on earth and true father in the spirit world. And uh, although there are many challenges in this world, we can see great hope for the future as things transition into the new, the new age, the new world. And so we want to uh, do our best to contribute and play our part in advancing the providence. I offer this prayer and report now of Mark and Masaka birth of the central family, our Jew. Thank you. And let's uh, give a warm welcome to Rem Yutaka as he shares with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Welcome for our Oceania morning devotion in Fundoke. We are really grateful to gather together this moment. We will put our heart and sincere devotion and prayer to our heavenly parents and true parents, and together with our all ancestors and spiritual world. They are coming together and they are sitting beside of each of us. So we will join through our uh, investment in our heart, all our ancestors, our spiritual world, even angel and everyone come together to connect with our heavenly parents and true parents. So let's put our chan song and we, let's start the great day. Appreciation and dearly love and also miss our heavenly parents, those precious heart and dearly this is a good moment. So. I want to start today's Hundokue. We are now sharing about True Mother's autobiography. So yesterday, Mother was sharing about Women's Federation and also a lot of women's, many kind of expectation. And also uh, there is a role and responsibility and mission from the women's side. So through mother, 
as the representative and true mother as the only begotten daughter and also true daughter, true wife and true mother. Really mother share the doors heart. And also all our ladies and our people, we have to become also true daughter and true wife and true mother. And of course our male, our gentlemen also, we have to become the true son and true husband and true father. So how we can become and create uh, ideal family, even the ideal relationship between husband and wife. And through this relationship, how we can find the God's heart to connect always. This is really uh, important sharing about your mother. So a uh, mother was sharing about the Women's Federation when true mother saw the current situation of the lady or sister in the world, how miserable some area. And when God saw each of those miserable person or situation in the world level, how God also feel and sympathy and even how God was painful his heart by himself. That's why through sharing those message, we have to encourage and also uh, let them stand to connect with original God's ideal and original plan and God's original nature. So how we can fulfill our role as the man and also as the women. This is really the important matter. And yesterday also there are many kind of sharing and one of sharing, uh, Mrs. also Eris mentioned, true mother always think and believe and love God is as the father. Eve could not do this one. Eve every time, not so much think, I'm not sure, but in the critical moment, she didn't report God, just decide by own self. But how was true mother all the moment communicate and feel God and also treat God as own father. That's why each moment when she share, actually her sharing is directly connected with our heavenly parents and can feel the heavenly parents heart through the lifetime. So we can learn through our true father and through true mother's life course. And we will, we, that is the one also we should go through those model course. So today let's see the next part. A mother's hand soothes a stomach ache. So I read this one. This chapter, mother also talking about mother's heart and even also the health and bodies. Mommy, my stomach hurts. When a child complains of stomach ache, his mother lays him on her lap and lap his tummy without single word. Her hands may be gnarled and laugh, but in a few moments, the child feels better. This may be a simple approach, but it is a practice based on love. We all dimly remember our mother's warm touch. This is the very touch with when I long to embrace all of humankind as mother of the universe and mother of peace. So when mother see the children, how is the mother's heart? Especially the children is suffering because of sickness. So we, we can see there are many mother here. When you see your children's sickness, what kind of heart did you feel or do you feel? How you see your children's suffering? When mother touch the children, when mother love the children or embrace the children, even children were sick, but all painfulness, ache will be disappear. Do you have this kind of experience? If children have a fever or children have a many kind of pain, but mothers inside of mothers arm, children feel the happiness, children feel the peacefulness, and really getting better. So those heart is mother's heart and those heart is the parent's heart. So true mother, 
with this kind of heart to embrace and seeing that all children in the world and see the all human beings as the mother of peace. Then how about God? When God see each of the person who are suffering, who are facing challenging or painful moment, how God, when he see that each children, each person of the human beings, how is our heavenly parents' heart and God's heart? Also, God has the same heart. If children cry, God also cry. If children have painful heart, God also feel the painful heart. If children facing the suffering, and also God feel the same suffering thinking, the suffering feeling. That's why God is our parents and also our heavenly parents. How we can connect with our God situation and God's heart. Always God understand our situation and embrace and love each of us with love and heart. As we know from our own experience, mother's mother hears her child cry very clearly and she has no thought but to quickly learn to her child. This is because a mother's love and attention are directed solely toward her, towards her children. A mother will walk through a far, fairly pit without hesitation to save her child. So mother's feeling and mother's sense is really sensitive. If children face some challenging or difficulty immediately, mother felt that. I think you have experience. So for example, in nighttime, suddenly child wake up around 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. because of maybe nightmare or because of some kind of fever. How about mother immediately woke up and embrace child and really take care seriously, right? Maybe all mother have this kind of experience to your babies. So I have also youngest daughter is three years old. Sometimes nighttime, she has a nightmare and suddenly wake up, even sleeping time, talking something and telling, please don't, sometimes we, that daughter fight with another daughter, please don't hit elder sister or something like this in crying in night time. But immediately my wife woke up and really embraced. My case usually once I sleep, I don't wake up whole night, but my wife really wake up immediately, then really take care of that child. So I think all mother have this, this experience. So how about mother's feeling? Really sensitive all the time feel and all attention is going to the children. That's why we could imagine the mother's love. How mother really love the children. And even maybe you can remember or imagine your mother. How was your mother? Do you remember when you are five years old, six years old, your childhood time, relationship with your mother? Always, of course, sometimes strongly say or scoring or really maybe guiding severe way. But why mother is teaching or guiding like this? Because mother hate you or because of mother love you? Because of mother love you, concern you and thinking of you. That's why sometimes strongly say or sometimes maybe painful way, but the motivation of mother always really want to love and embrace and believe wish children's happiness and also a growth so we could see those mothers heart and we can imagine our physical mother also how much mother really love each of us and true mother as a mother of peace and mother of union universe not only own family level not only just own the national level True mother, really embracing and see that each person of human beings as a children, mother, really love, embrace and concern always. 
Koreans often pray for chombok, which means living in happy contentment, even without possessions of or power. Health is most important for our happiness. We have a saying, if you lose your possessions, you have lost little. If you lose your reputation, you have lost a lot. But if you lose your health, you have lost everything. Taking these words very seriously, I have long pondered over the secret of good health. It is not easy for anyone to live their entire life without ever getting sick. So mother is talking about chongbok. This is Korean word. Chong. Chong is kind of the clear or bright. You know champion? The word of champion. This chong is this meaning. Chong, clear. And also bok is blessing. This Korean word is different with the word of chongbokkun. Chongbokkun and chongbok is heaven and blessing. But this mother talking about chongbok, this chongbok is kind of the clear, clear, bright, and blessing. So mother is mentioning even family doesn't have money, even family has a humble life, but family can live happy life. So what is the basic fundamental important point of our happiness is one of the things is also the healthy body mother is mentioning. That's why if we keep our health, actually we can create happiness in around our lives itself. Even every day, busy life. How about your life? Every day, really busy and busy, just meeting and just having the time with people and eating and sleeping. So when you spend the time, what kind of life are you spending? Just eating, meeting, sleeping, eating, meeting, sleeping, and finish your life? We have to think about the health itself also, how to take care of our life. Because we have many things to do in the physical life. Still, we didn't complete many things yet. If we go to spiritual world immediately, we can go spiritual world without any regret or any kind of hesitation to go to spiritual world, we have many things to do, right? That's why we have to keep our healthy body. So keep the healthy body. We can give the happiness to our family and happiness to others. And we can share the joy to the people. So how we can share those hearts. So mother is mentioning about healthy body. This is important. Once you lose the health, you can recognize how much important to keep the health. But if we don't recognize our sickness, we cannot imagine so much. We cannot be serious about health. That's why this health is important. Take care, health, exercise, and take a good food to nurturing your bodies. So mother is mentioning about health and importance of ourselves. So mother said, if you lose your possessions, you have lost a little bit. If you lose your reputation, you have lost a lot. But if you lose your health, you have lost everything. So even mother is talking about to love the people, embrace as the mother's position, father's position, husband and wife and parent and children, show the blessing, share the blessing to the world. But if I become the sickness, how if become you become the sick, how you can do something for others? So important to taking care of your health, healthy body is really an essential things. During my early life, I saw many people suffering from malnutrition or whose lives were broken by injury or diseases. At age 16, when I entered St. Joseph's nursing school, I felt joy and pride, knowing I had found exactly what I needed to do. However, in taking on the mission of the Mother of Peace, I had no choice 
but to put that vocation aside. While traveling around the world, I saw many children who could have become healthy if they had better care. Some lost their sight. Some had limb amputated because they could not be treated in time. So when we saw our true mother's story and autobiography, when true mother was high school time, true mother decided to go to the nursing way to save the people and live for others. When she was already 16 years old, she had those kind of heart to live for the peoples. So her vision in that moment, she wanted to become nurse and to save the people. But after receiving and receiving the holy wedding and became the true mother, even she is not going to the nursing way, but still she have the same heart as the mother of peace to embrace people and loving others. So in the world level, she also went to the many nations in the world. She could see the many children and children environment. Still, there are many miserable child. Also, I visited many countries, especially India, Nepal, or countryside of Philippines or Cambodia. Still, there are many children are there who cannot eat well, and even there is no place to stay, just running around in the street, and even poor food, and never take a shower, and some is really getting sickness. We could see many kind of children. If there is little bit money, or little bit environment, or little bit some kind of the uh, facility, each children have a special talent also, which are given by God. But even they could not reach that environment or this status. They just spend the time, and some some children is going to die. So when Trimada saw those children, and when our heavenly parents saw those children's situation, how much our God feel painful heart? How about our nation or around our lives in our city and also our society now in currently in Oceania? Can you recognize those person's situation? Actually, beside of the society, behind of our society, many families are facing challenging and also difficulty. Even the children, even many people's daily life is not going not going to the easy way, how we can really recognize and we can find a solution to save them as our families. This pain remains as a deep knot in my heart. I want to be the mother who can embrace all people who are all ill, physically and spiritually. When we endure a thought, we feel the pain throughout our entire body. As the mother of one family under God, I feel the pain of each person as my own pain. Having fallen ill myself in countries not my own, I know what it means to be a foreigner in need of medical care. That's why when mother saw the each of children, because mother feel they are own child and brother and sisters and son and daughters. That's why mother feel them, embrace them, like also God love the people. Mother said if to too was pain and whole body be became pain. This is our body situation. So originally God created our human society like this. When our my finger become injured, our whole body is painful. Our stomach became painful, whole body is painful. This is connecting everything. So when we see the human society, if one person suffering, how do we feel? We feel the same feeling or we don't feel anything. God feel everything together and our true mother feel also everything together. Their pain, other person's painful, actually my painfulness and my pain was suffering. So mother really feel when she 
the people's heart or situation. That's why mother is sharing about heart. When she meet the people and meet the children and meet the society. So this chapter to the mother is talking about also the health and also the reality in the society. So this is doesn't matter developed country or developing country, even developed country, actually still there are many kinds of limitation. There is many person who are suffering behind how we can recognize our vision is one family under God. We are believe that God is our heavenly parents and all people are our brother and sisters. So this message should not be not only just a, a motto or just sentence, how we can feel, how we can live this kind of way. So through the health and through those kind of our heavenly parents' heart and true parents' heart, we will go forward to our place to invest and love them and also live together. So I want to share also the word of Chon Song Gyeong continuously. So this is also the Chon Song Gyeong word. So in our life, mother continuously sharing about God's heart, how we can experience, how we can inherit God's heart. This is a really key point. And in the beginning of the time, I mentioned that true mother always feel God is the father from the childhood good time and attend God, live together with God, report to God always as the children of God, as the mother of peace. So our in our life, the connection with God's heart, connection with our heavenly parents is our essential moment. That's why through our Chon Song world, we can also find the heart of God again and again. The original mind testifies to God's existence. How can we know whether God exists or not? We know air exists, even though it is invisible. How do we know? We know because we live by breathing it. Does the air have any taste? It has no taste and it is invisible. Still, we know without a doubt that, our, that air exists. Similarly, we have a mind. Even though it is invisible, we know we certainly that we have it. You cannot use its invisibility as a basis to say there is no mind. Yet we do not know what the mind looks like. It is indeed a mystery. So Father also talking about God. We know the air, even we cannot see. And how about the mind? Even we cannot see the mind, but we can feel and we can find. So when when do you think when you think about air, how many percent do you have confidence that air is existing? Do you have confidence air is really existing now? How many percent? 80% confidence or 100 percent confidence? We are basically confidence air is existing. 100 percent confidence, right? Air, even air, we could not see air, but I'm not sure why, but we totally believe and we recognize air is existing. How about the mind? Even we don't see that, but we can feel, we can believe that mind is existing. Somebody taught you mind is exist or air is existing? But why we can feel we have a confidence that when to father went to to parents went to North Korea last time we saw the video in front of the leader of North Korea father shouting to them do you have mind do you have love can you remember the video father also mentioning that mind and also heart if we cannot see but we know there is mind we know there is love. The how about God? How much percentage we are feeling God's heart? We are feeling God's existence. Where would God's dwelling place be? God would 
nestled in the most precious place of all, love. Speaking of a man and women, where would God be? He would be at the point that stands perpendicular to their deepest love based on their complete and unchanging unity. So where God is staying, the between men and women, the bottom place of love. Where is that? Where is the place which God think most precious? And what is the purpose and hope when God created the human beings? But Father not mentioning the direct word in this place because of maybe the era or kind of the environment of the age at that moment. But Father also clearly mentioning in this century, 1995, September 15, in search of the origin of the universe. Maybe we had this kind of message, went to father, to parents, inaugurated the Family Federation for World Peace. Father also said, God wants love partner. Thus God wants to appear and meet us at the place where husband and wife unite together their sexual organs. So how about God love? How about husband wife unity? Where God want to exist together? Actually the place between men and women and when unite physically and spiritually, men and women come together. God also come down and feel together and joy together. So this is really God's heart. So when we see our father's word, we have to learn more. Who is God? How we can feel God in the daily life through prayer? We can feel God. When we see the suffering people or challenging people, a painful person, we can feel God's painfulness, God's suffering together. So each moment, how we can consider concern and live and reporting with God and heavenly parents. This is the first attitude and first moment as the parents and child relationship. So each day we are sharing about your mother's message and we are sharing also the father's heart. But through those message, we will find and live together with God. And we are share the God's heart to the people and live together with God. So really today also we are sharing, really we are great. Every moment you can share your heart and experience. And also I want to share one point. Yesterday also our Mrs. Margaret shared about a Fundoke. Maybe during Fundoke time, we can hear another person's testimony or another person's message. So we actually try, consider from the before. We are asking someone who can be volunteer to share your testimony or even you can share the message. So if really many people wish to put another session during Fundoke time, we can uh, consider again. So now every eight days in the Anshil time, our national leader is giving the special message in Anshil time, once or eight days. Then usually, during eight days, uh, seven day, I'm preparing and sharing the contents. But if you wish to put the different session or different person, we can consider or we can try one more day, some kind of a special day for open the people, then you can share, we can hear some kind of a special testimony or even some person want to share your realization through God's word, also, we can consider uh, that things. Because last time we asked the people who want to share or who want to volunteer, but we didn't receive any kind of um, the volunteer or initiation. That's why, of course, we receive idea. Maybe better someone speak, better someone testify, te give testimony. We receive this kind of a suggestion many times. But we never say, I want to give testi testimony or I want to give sharing. So I wish if you really want to share or want to give message, please contact our Reverend John, then we can arrange. 
because sometimes try, sometimes not try. I'm then also some spiritually uh, not so much smooth every time. And also, I don't want to force the people so much because in the morning time, we happily come and share our heart and start the morning. But if come to morning time, every time hesitate, maybe suddenly Reverend John call, call my name and I have to say something or uh, those kind of pressure, there is some this kind of pressure, right? I, I want some very natural feeling and very the volunteer spirit. This is very uh, important in the morning. So I hope if you have a really special, um, anyway, your life is special. You don't feel your life is not special, but actually every person's life is special because our life was uh, guided by God, guided by heavenly parents. When you start to think your life, actually you can find many good experience or moment meeting with God and our heavenly parents. So if you can really prepare your testimony, this is really important and precious even for you, even for us. That's why we wish you can prepare and you can volunteer. So when we meet, when we make this session, so this session is especially testimony through your life of faith or blessing life, mission or activity moment, meeting with God, heavenly parents or realization. Those testimony is really important. And when you share God's word, also centering on God's word, you realize especially or you felt God's heart. There this word changed my life. So those sharing God's word. So this session become those moment who share God's word those the share those some kind of the testimony because morning moment is important moment so when you volunteer but please don't don't speak so much about the political issue or kind of academic issue or kind of that you are comment for the social issue this is a little bit different maybe we should prepare the, another opportunity but this morning time at least if you can share your life of faith, realization with God and God's heart. So we are considering every time your precious suggestion. So please uh, contact with our Reverend John and we can develop our community, beautiful communication and beautiful atmosphere. So anyway, today we are sharing about Mother's Word and Father's Word will God Myself is also every time not perfect. I'm really sometimes so sorry. I cannot prepare well. I cannot share the heart so much of God's heart and true parents' heart. But I also try my best. And I'm really appreciate always for your supporting prayer and chonsong. So let's create this community together and offer the happiness to our heavenly parents and true parents. So thank you for joining today's morning Hundoke. Let's have a great time. Thank you very much. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, Revenue Tactor, as always. Yeah, really uh, making things so clear. And so uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, please contact me if you uh, are inspired to share one time. Uh, the thing that struck me as I was listening uh, was in the mother's words she talked about. Uh, you know, wanting to uh, discover the, the secret to uh, good health or what, what, what exactly uh, enables uh, good health. And she gave the example of uh, you know, uh, her mother's hand on a child's tummy to make a tummy ache feel better. Uh, so uh, we got someone sharing screen. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I, may, I was re remembering about you know, when my kids were really small and they'd come and, and uh, have a sore finger and I remember you know, kissing it better. And, uh, and then 
yeah, that, that uh, uh, my daughter was satisfied with that. But as she got older, and I uh, and I uh, tried to kiss it better, uh, uh, she said, "Well, that's not enough. It needs more than just that." Uh, and uh, I, I realized that the, the secret to good health, yes, it involves love, but how how is the love involved? And uh, and the thing about being sick, it actually a hundred percent highlights the fact that we are both physical and spiritual. We need care, as Mother said. We need emotional care, but we also really need practical physical care. Now, you can't heal a broken bone just by you know kissing uh, the the area and saying it's going to be better now. We actually need uh, a physical treatment. And and then it occurred to me that the secret you know, to good health is actually a balanced, harmonious relationship between our physical and and spiritual self and and then it made sense uh absolutely because we talk about mind and body unity we talk about the problem of the fall the fall was separated our connection to god which in essence means we separated our connection to the source of love and to uh the, the source of our uh spiritual growth and so when we get sick it highlights the fact that we need love we need spirit uh, uh, care and healing so our emotions are, uh, are settled. And then we need physical uh, uh, application of treatment so that the healing takes place. And it's interesting you know, that when we're not sick, uh, uh, we're okay to, uh, to be satisfied by some spiritual stimulation or we get satisfied by uh, some physical stimulation, like you go out and have a really great meal, and we feel, oh, yeah, contented. But actually, we're never fully contented until we merge uh, both the, the spirit and physical together. So it really highlighted in, in a simple statement, you know, that the secret of good health is a balanced, harmonized relationship between our physical and spiritual uh, selves or needs you know, centered upon our parents' love. And, and uh, if we can do that, then uh, we'll always remain healthy. So uh, just some thoughts when I was thinking about the secret of good health. Thank you. So open up whoever likes to sh share. Uh, yes, Chris, go ahead. Yeah, morning, everyone. I, I was just struck by the very simple point that Mother is calling in life. The thing she felt most satisfied with was to be a nurse. And you think, oh, okay, yeah, don't think much about it. But then I thought, well, with all the spiritual things that happened to her, if that had been father, he he you know, was thinking about how to be a spiritual leader, how to do that. But mother went through all this spiritual life and training and guidance from her parents. And as the female aspect of God's character, all she wanted to do was look after people. That was the complete fulfillment to her. I found that really uh, just a simple little point I've never thought about before. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, yes, Randall, go ahead. I uh, I agree that um, with Chris as well that uh, that was a important part there. Um, but I also thought that Father said that he wanted to be a doctor, and not just a doctor, but he wanted to be a, get a doctorate in like five different areas, um, and so he was also looking to help people, and you know. He saw that uh, people were having a hard time and he'd go around as a kid and say, well, if you could change something, if you could make something better, what would it be? And uh, he would, you know, hear all these different things and say, okay, I have to be a doctor in this area as well and doctor in this area as well. So he also felt that. Um, what Reverend Yutaka was saying about the uh, testimonies, um, Father also sent a message when we were doing the 120-day 
leadership training, uh, write down your testimony because things like divine principle, it's good in theory, but people want to see how it works in practice. They want to see how it works in people's lives. And so uh, if you can write down, you know, even just a couple of pages of a testimony that is, um, you know, seen that in practice. And um, I was asking about this to Mark Burfield about, you know, when's the anniversary of uh, Australia's founding of the church? And um, in a couple of years time, that'll be the 50th anniversary of uh, the Unification Church in Australia. And I was thinking, well, if we can get a few of these testimonies and just put them together in a small book, then, um, you know, with permission, of course, then, um, you know, this is inspiring, you know, hear about different things. So I was thinking, okay, my time in Jardim, because I was helping to build the farm as it was starting up type of thing. And I was in uh, Mexico before 1982. And then Ola Willocks was there after 1982 type of thing. So there's um, a lot of different meshing and different uh, experiences that people have had. And it's kind of like, I have no idea what goes on there type of thing. And to hear from people that have been there, just these different testimonies, it's, you know, it's something inspiring. So um, I encourage everyone to put your hand up for that. Thank you. Thank you, Randall. Uh, yes, Mary, go ahead. Morning. Yeah, I was just um, thinking about True Mother's words, talking about health. And, um, you know, my husband grew up, his father was um, in the restaurant business. And every, every um, weekend or every night, his father would bring him home these big pies with lots of sugar and lots of pastry. And that was his father's way of expressing him, his love to him. But actually, what a, <laughs> it created um, like a desire for that kind of food. And once you, um, when you grow up, eating kind of certain kind of things, it's really hard to break that, um, that habit. And, you know, and you know, we know that food is one of the things, you know, like sex, um, sleep and food are the three things that Satan works through in our lives. So if we grow up eating that kind of food, then which is not good for our body, it's really hard to overcome those habits. So I think, um, the love of parents um, should be to um, make sure the food is healthy for their children so they can grow up with a healthy body. And um, yeah, not, so it's sort of like an internal and external Secure thing. Secure the next generation. And even beyond that, um, in the last 50 years, so um, the, the lot of agriculture has been developed using bad science. So a lot of chemicals have been used. So um, and a lot of that tin food and chem food with chemicals has been exported throughout the world, especially to the, you know, the island nations. And that's impacted the health of the people in the island nations because originally they had um, a diet which consisted of vegetables and fish and uh, was very healthy. When all this imported food came in from America and probably other Western nations, it really impacted the health of people in those nations. So somehow um, we've got to find a way to get back to um, the original healthy um, way without chemicals. And another thing that comes to mind too, um, a lot of the agriculture they use like Roundup and even genetically modified foods, they use, um, it's infused with Roundup, which is actually a carcinogenic. So this is what's been exported to all this kind of wheat infused with this kind of chemical is being, you know, taken to Africa where they've had famines. And so a lot of people have been have really suffered with their health because they've been eating this kind of food, which is um, completely devoid of the original natural ingredients. So, and nutrition. So, um, yeah, so we struggle with our health because, you know, from the very beginning, we, um, we started off the wrong, in the wrong track, you know, so 
we try to get back on track, but it's a real battle, you know, and um, to change habits. So anyway, we don't give up. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mary. We have time for one more person if they like to share. Yes, Mr. Wright, go ahead. Yeah, I, I hope internet is working well. <laughs> I wish you uh, don't give up uh, Douglas, Mary, and uh, can keep good health. And, uh, I wish we hope. And uh, so, uh, mother uh, wanted to be the mother who can embrace all people who are ill. Uh, I think spiritually and also physically. And uh, uh, so at the moment, so, you know, human facing a pandemic and uh, God and also parents are really a uh, difficult situation. How can solution? And uh, so uh, uh, I think everyone pray and uh, looking for the solution uh, all over the world, and including us, I think, in centering also the God and Japan. Uh, then, uh, worldwide, in Australia, was a good success. Uh, MB from other nation. Uh, when, oh, we like to go to Australia, New Zealand, but it's one of the, it's the best country. It's, uh, uh, protects its uh, money too well, but uh, after started uh, Delta violent, Delta uh, 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 virus, uh, completely changed the situation. Uh, I think uh, Australia is a bit late. Government and the people are different kind of idea. I don't want to talk detail, but uh, so, uh, so much late for vaccine taking. And uh, so look at uh, Sydney, it's uh, nearly 300. Uh, really we pray. There is someone say, some scientists say, uh, we cannot complete eradicate uh, this virus. Like same as pest, uh, once happened in a three times pandemic, three times. Uh, gone, but come back. Gone, come back. They're still there. And uh, so kind of uh, live together is a solution. Then uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, well, one of the idea people people say is um, practical, effective vaccine, you know, can be uh, distributed all what but but a lot of you know money, it's finance difficulty, and uh, takes a long time, and uh, but uh, maybe needed nearly eighty percent of people taking vaccine. This is one of the people say. And, uh, you know, then can, you know, find a solution. But uh, anyway, uh, practical way is a physical way. I think it's a little challenge. And uh, the age of two parents this time. So they, uh, we play with uh, Santos, he's getting well, and uh, we have the spiritual care uh, well and pray each other. Uh, really, I think we, we hope uh, find out good solution and uh, thank you for your prayer. Well, thank you, Mr. Ryan. Thank you. And it's uh, time now for us to offer our unison prayer. So I'll just uh, share the screen. And let's pray together.
Adieu. 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 Thank you, everyone. Hello, Uncle John. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Good day. <laughs> it's always hot. Here it's too <laughs> Yeah, but now it's raining. That's right. Rich, right, you're so black, we can't see you. <laughs> Uh, hey, black room is dark, you can't see your face. <laughs> oh, yeah, no worry, I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> you need uh, a you... light under your chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you look like a you fat. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Have a great day. Bye bye. Have a good day. Have a great day. Bye -bye.